Hey everyone, welcome back to, whoopsie, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Uh, I'm so excited to get back into it. I'm recording this directly after the last episode. Um, I wasn't going to do a recap, but there is one important thing. So I might as well just do the recap. Um, so we started in Gungaga and we just flew to Cosmo Canyon um, with Sid. Sid was the pilot. He charged us a thousand bucks to fly to Cosmo Canyon. And they put so much detail and character into his character, so I feel like he's gonna be a big player later on. But after he, after we landed, he just said, "Call me if you need me again," and then he just took off. <laughs> so I don't know. I feel like there's gonna be more to his story. He might even, maybe he'll be the eighth person to join our team. I feel, I still feel like we're gonna get another person on our team um, because seven is such a weird number. But anyways, we just got used to the environment, got our chocobo, um, which was wasn't as annoying. We got it on the first try. We decided to do that sneaky mission again get it and then we did a ridiculously long side mission with the flying chocobo but we got a new weapon for Yuffie because of it and because of that Yuffie is now ridiculously good she throws her shuriken as a special move so that I, I can also do it as a normal move and then do my duplicating her to double everything so there's so much stuff on the screen but Yuffie does so much damage now um but yeah we ended up getting to Cosmo Canyon, and the thing I wanted to recap is what I talked about a couple episodes back, where Red 13 completely let his his guard down. Um, and by that I mean, Cosmo Canyon is his hometown, and once he got home and saw people that he knew, he got so excited and he let his like child voice out again. So that voice I told you, um, told you guys about that I noticed when I was editing. He, he just completely let it out, didn't even try to hide it. So. Super weird. Um, like he, he has the voice of a tiny young kid, like like seven year old kid, <laughs> instead of like the big grown up, cool voice that he had before. So I feel like this is gonna be the find out more about Red Thirteen chapter. But yeah, let's just dive into it, guys. Um, we're in a brand new town, but I think we need to do this main mission before we can explore things. So let's just see where the freaking game takes us. Thank you so much for watching, and let's see what happens next. Okay, we're back. So excited to be back. The music here is amazing. Hey. Oh, the message board and Chadley. Okay, now this is what I call being in the great outdoors. We're at the Cosmo Canyon Cloud. A long-standing dream of mine has finally come true. Planetology rejects our Mako-consuming society, insisting that we have much to learn about this world. And now we have the opportunity to share in their planetary knowledge. Um. Oh yeah, I think we looked at this. Yeah, we did. Needless to say, many hazards await you on the road, so take care. Oh my god, Charlie, would you shut up? Okay, we did it with, we did this already, so... We just need to find out where Red 13 went. I think he went up these stairs. You can't even change party, you can't do anything. Barrett has 6,000 damage now. Holy crap. Music. So where did he go? He went up here. Oh, the weapon store. Oh my god, the store? All these icons weren't here before. Let's see if we missed anything. Just so we're clear, I only sell the customers I deem worthy. Um, one second, I gotta switch a setting on my TV. Okay, we're back. Don't Oops. you dare use my weapons for anything unsavory. Hmm. I feel like this is like a big religious bunch. Well, I've seen worse. Congrats. Okay. You're welcome to shop here. I still don't know if we can even get anything we missed. Uh, Yuffie's moves are insane. Um, okay. Better watch how you wield those things now. Oh my god, these people. Um, accessories vendor, items vendor. Only the best classic canyon medicine. Oh my god, Queen's Blood cards. Yes, Queen's Blood. <laughs> the only thing I care about in these stores. What do you have? Well, oh, she's nice and speaks normally. God, this music. Okay, I'm good. So where do we go? So the map is messed up. It's just telling me some random spot. Oh, 
Yeah, okay. We're gonna have to find him on our own. Oh, here we go. Alright, Red. What the hell's going on? I was born and raised here. Oh, he's got his in normal or his made up voice, I guess. I was to become a watcher of the veil like those before me until I was taken by Shinra. Now that I'm home and have repaid my debt to you, I plan to serve my village once more. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Thank you. We're really gonna miss you, Red. What? Oh, don't say that. You're only oh making God. this harder. I mean, I wish we had more time, but this is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. Not a pig! Is that you, my boy? Coming! We lose Red 13? Oh my god, no. Jesus. So, was that goodbye? I was like, what the hell's going on? I'm sure we'll see him around the canyon. The real question is, why'd we come here? To learn the secrets of planetology. Come on. Can't forget that materia. As for me. Ah, that will do. I'm gonna steal some shot eye if you don't mind. Instant sleep. Then we can see the sights. Okay. Official. Yes, everything's opened. Alright, let's see what's going on in this crazy city. I wish it didn't... Why does it block off everything? It hasn't even told me what I'm, my main mission is. Look at these rock formations. The erosion process must have started hundreds of millions of years ago. Okay, I'm afraid of going up there because I don't want the story to progress. We can actually wake him up? Oh no, we can't. Okay, I'm not gonna go up because I don't want the story to progress. There's no way we lose Red 13. Something terrible is gonna happen here. It's gonna force him to stay with us. Get out of the way. At least I thought I saw Queen's blood. Maybe everything didn't open up. Yeah, no. Okay, let's go. Okay, the map just changed. The so Queen's blood's there. I played Queen's blood in like two episodes now for me. With, for you guys, maybe a week and a half or so. Oh, here we go. More stuff opened up. And there's the camera, dude. Okay, now we know where the main mission is. This music. All right, and they always have God, something to say for travel. 45 minutes. You've more than a passing interest in Queen's blood. It has bewitched you. Be at ease. It is only natural to hear its call. Queen's blood is of the planet and for the planet. Oh my God! <laughs> it, like all things, is part of the great cycle that connects us. Indeed, each and every card holds within it a greater purpose, one that belies their form. Come, join me in a match that you too may glimpse the truth of our great mother. Oh my god, the Queen's Blood players never shut up. Alright, I'm gonna see my new cards. Give me a second, you guys. Okay, we're finally ready. Um, take me forever to decide. Jesus, I need more cards in the deck.
just took over the whole board. He did it. We did it. Oh my God, he can actually play. Oh, we can replace a card. We got 19 points in one row. Holy crap. It's the most points I've ever had. <coughs> I need to update my deck. A turn I did not expect, which confirms my fears. A strange, wicked heart brings a life stream, and a similar dark energy has corrupted Queen's blood. Be careful. The game's pleasures belie the thorns beneath that will bleed you slowly and surely. Many devotees have succumbed to the darkness of which I spoke. Too many. Remember, oh my God. the cards are a link between us and the planet. If you are in trouble, reach out. She shall answer. Oh, great mother, hear my prayer. Watch over your son. Jesus. Congratulations. You have attained the rank of Blood Captain. Cloud. Wise, the AI you met on the ferry, has undergone a software update. It presently resides in the Dust Bowl. I advise you to challenge it and gauge its new and improved capabilities. Okay, maybe we'll go back there. It's so far back, I remember. He's only level 6. Oh my god. Hiccups, my sound is messed up again. No! Okay, at least they're showing us. There's an elevator. Okay, I'm gonna try and fix my sound. Hopefully my freaking video doesn't blow up. One second, you guys. Okay, hopefully we're back. I think it's worked. If not, we'll lose all this footage. <laughs> Yuffie, what are you doing here? My precious material, where are you? Oh my god. Yuffie's gonna take you home. The only thing she cares about. Okay, let's play this guy in Queen's Blood. Oh, oh, it's our very first catch of the day, folks. We have ourselves a challenger. Hello, sir. Care to tell the folks at home who you are? Ha ha ha. Could this shark be more of a guppy? Well, I spy a row of razor sharp teeth in this little fishy's maw. You might be the QB killer we've been waiting for, but there's only one way to find out. Mm, God is That's right. Our audience doesn't want to hear commentary. They want to see blood. To up the ante, our challenger's opponent will be none other than your host with the most, me, Bernard. I don't even know what that second thing said, but there was two things. Okay, I gotta edit my deck again, guys. One second. Okay, we made some modifications to the deck. Let's see how we do this time. We got the three already. And we got this already. Um, this is not a good deck to start. Um, but we'll just roll with it, I guess. We already got the three. Potentially in play. So if we do this. Here we go, we got the three already. I can eat whoops. Oh my god. You need to use this to get it in play, yeah. Yep, 
East is the beacon points are building in the bottom. Hmm, should I do this? Yeah. 17 in the bottom. Oh my god, stop taking... At least I keep getting cards. Or I keep getting points because it keeps destroying everything. Oh my god. I'm trying... Let me see if I can get him out of play completely. No, I need to... Use this one. Oh wait, I could have... Damn it. I could have saved it. on points. Well, we can't hear. Don't destroy my card. I keep getting points because he keeps destroying his card. Oh, that's such a good card down there. Okay, we won. Yes, first tried it. Unless he has a card that we can replace more cards. He hasn't. Sweet. Another train. Oh my god. Alright, what did we get? I don't even know what enfeebled. I wonder keeps coming up with new cards. I don't know what it means. I'm lucky I got out of that match with my limbs intact. Guys. Shark is a ferocious man Broadcaster voice. He made a serious splash with some ruthless moves. Players the world over have got to be shaken in their boots. Something tells me this beast is about to upset oh the QB food chain. Better start swimming. Congratulations oh to you, sir, for an incredible match. Though we found the canyon's resident shark, the fun never ends on this show. Stay tuned because we've got more coming your way. Jesus, they never stop talking. Queen's Blood players. All right, I'm gonna let's quickly head back to. Actually, I don't even know how you go back. Where the hell am I? Jesus. Wait one second, you guys. Oh crap, guys, I can't leave. There's no fast travel. There's no fast traveling. So I'll go. Talk Let's go talk to Snaps. Um, what are they doing down there? Is that a group prayer? Let's go talk to Snaps. Hmm. Fancy running into you here. Say, how about I get a shot of you giving thanks to the planet? I still can't believe Cloud agrees to do this. The beauty of this place is unreal. Pictures can't do it justice. Wonders such as these have to be experienced in person. I want to believe I can capture this magic. I'm looking for spots with a spiritual feel, if you know any. Okay, so we got the location. Um, where is it? Oh, we've been there, I think. Okay. I think once we get down to the bottom level, it won't be that hard to navigate. But let's go and see Red 13. What I think is over here. Spirit. A lot of folks downplay the planet's peril, but if they saw the weapons up close like we did, they'd have no choice but to acknowledge how bad it really is. Folks around here, though, they get it. They want what's best for our planet. You can see it in their eyes. Wonder if it ain't too late to recruit them to Avalanche. 
So Barrett's blue now. He's almost full. Oh my god. I remember he was so far behind when we got when we were at the beach. Alright, let's go talk to Red. I wonder why they stuck with us. The Girls. Planet Talad. Blessings of the planet upon you. Disciples of her teachings gather here to share their experiences. Through these seminars, we learn from one another and together enrich our lives. Participation in the seminars requires a special invitation from a mentor. Without one, I'm afraid you cannot join. Perhaps oh. you might instead consider taking part in the River of Light ceremony. I suspect you'd enjoy it. Later, okay. So we probably come back here later. Where the hell did he go? Oh, here. Oh my god, okay. All the time I've spent here. This place is so cool. Jesus. This game. Alright. I bet you this chapter's gonna be like incredible. My friend was on chapter 10 when I was in Ben June on, which was like a month ago now. <laughs> At least. At least for you guys. And he said chapter 10 was amazing. So I'm looking forward to this. See if I like, feel like we're not even close to the end. This place isn't too big. We have to go up there and see what that is. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Looks like it's over here. We'll check that out after. Um, no music. The like blood, oh, Bloodborne. Ah, not so fast. Sorry, but visitors aren't allowed in here. You see, this is where we keep all our valuables. Oh, in there. I was like, ah, not so. You see. This is where we keep all our values. Yeah, that's fine. All right, Red 13. You need to figure out your story. Why were you acting? Well, he actually explained it. He wanted to us to act. He wanted him to be treated as an equal, not a dog or a child. So he disguised his voice, but. Can we actually look in these? No. Jesus, this is cool. Okay, so he's over there. If What's going on over here? Fear, it is not our fellow man, nor any There's probably going to be 7,000 missions, like side missions here. So let's just get over here. Oh, these are the friends I was talking about. He got his voice. <laughs> Thank you for looking after Mama Jean. What in the hell? My material name orb? is Bukenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. Oh my god, Red. <laughs> is not. Well, can't look at him the same way now. Way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? <laughs> Nanaki here has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say he's about 15 or 16 years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our Vale and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good-for-nothing father. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Namaki? Not yet. Be right back. Hmm. Look <laughs> where are my manners. Please, come in and have a look around. What? This is gonna be story heavy. <laughs> Where's Barrett? Isn't he wanted to know this crap? Gadgets and gizmos are plenty. Well, let me just make sure I steal what's not bolted down. Nice, we got Planet's Favor.
So can I talk to everybody? No, they're just looking. Okay, he's gonna give us the information we need. So that's the main... I don't know what this is. I don't know why there's two main things. I'm afraid to touch anything after I got screwed out of one of the missions in Gungaga. There's another one. What is my objective? I hate how it doesn't tell me. Hold on, guys. Inspect the various devices. Okay, thank you. I can do it without skipping freaking everything. That is one of the first Marco detectors ever built. Hmm, though I suspect it can't detect much now. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> Do you recognize that little scamp? I'll have you know that in his childhood, Nanaki was quite a handful. So Nanaki's his real name? So Red 13 is the name Shinra gave him, that's right. I forgot about that. Which makes sense, giving him a number as a name. I never thought you could become even more It's like you're singing to me of the planet's wisdom. Don't you worry, my Whoa! <laughs> Those devices are testing the pull of gravity. What? Book backlog? And then this? While that may appear to be little more than a glistening mineral at a glance, it is in fact a crystallized collection of our planet's memories. What is this guy doing? I never thought you could. Oh, he's wiping the materia. And yet, to me of the planet's wisdom. Don't you worry, my dear. That's a scale model of our planet and the surrounding stars. One could say the dust it's collected represents the people who live upon it. What? God, the music is so great. Okay. This might be the last one. That records fluctuations in various energies. I must ask that you handle it with care. It's a rather delicate device, you see. I think that's it. He seems to be well known around his village, so I need to know. I need to hear the story. I want to check our pass pause and see if there's any. Oh my god! Are you see if there's anything else? I think we're good. devices piqued your curiosity they are essential to my studies of the planet Nanaki never had much exposure to the outside world I can only hope his travels with you have served to enlighten him oh, they are essential he to isn't my studies do I of the oh planet. there's another floor Oh, stuff to steal. I feel like there's gonna be a weapon here somewhere. That right there is a type of a current generator. It harnesses the power of the wind to produce new airflows of its own. Perhaps you've encountered them before during your travels. I don't think so. This is going to be the biggest story progression chapter, I think. I'm afraid to go anywhere because I don't want to progress anything. You won't find a larger telescope on the planet. With it, you can see to the edge of the galaxy. 
There's no better view of the stars than through this scope. <laughs> but the men's could do with some cleaning. My apologies. The planet can access one and all. For everything exists. This is so cool. Oh my god. Yes, more plants, Percy. Alright, what's up here? Can't attack. I was gonna hit those boxes. Mind your manners in front of fellow Bukanagan. The lights we observe here have traveled to us from the far reaches of time and space. So I don't know what to do. Hmm. That again, huh? Planetary phonograph? Sounds like that That's feature. The planet crying out. A sorrowful dirge indeed. One I've heard all too often of late. This tubing allows us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet. What we just heard didn't come from the planet, though. That was definitely the voice of a weapon. Hmm. You seem awfully sure of yourself, miss. Because we saw them. With our own eyes. Two. In the Corel and Gungaga reactors. They were loud and huge. <laughs> A fascinating account. Were it true. However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see a doctor. Um. Excuse me? Oh, oh. Yes. That would do them some good. Hmm. What? Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Okay, here we go. Come with me. You need to learn about everything. Where the hell's Barrett? He's the one that was so excited about this. He's in the party too, but I can't do anything with him. I got a load. Thank you. All right, teach us. I present to you our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado. Hypodentally, oh my god. Jesus, that's the freaking scene. Wow. <laughs> this is only the beginning. A shooting star. Planetology. It's not simply the study of the cosmos and the celestial bodies that dwell in it. Rather, it is a quest to comprehend the cyclical nature of life. These scenes look so good. Imagine the real game looking like this. The actual Behold, gameplay. The planet we call home. It was from its soil, so teeming with life, that mankind was born. And like all living things, man is fated to die. So, what happens next? The body withers and returns to the planet. But what of the mind, the spirit, the soul? Much like its former vessel, it too returns whence it came. Great river where all intertwine and circle the planet without end. A cycle of continuous convergence and divergence. The ceaseless ebb and flow that is the life stream. 
an apt name. Though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. This is so sad. <laughs> it is the very essence of our star. The blood coursing through its planetary veins. And if ever that essence were to be entirely depleted. Holy crap, so sick. Of course, these are but basic principles of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry, that energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery, then fade away. Okay, but does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? A novel theory, suggestive of a lack of understanding. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. You rang? Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Okay. Yep, go learn more. Hey, can I come? So now it's just Cloud. I, it sucks that Barrett missed that. Oh, I guess I have to go too. Never mind. We all have to learn more. Higher learning. Got a question. The planet runs out of energy. It and everything on it dies, right? Yes. Is there any way to avoid this? Like. Making the spiritual energy stronger? Why are you asking me such things? <clears throat> I'm sorry. I've come to realize that I'm somewhat stuck in the past. We've entered an era in which humanity exerts unprecedented influence over its environs. And as both the planet and society evolve, so too must science. And yet it seems that I cannot. Perhaps I'm much too old of a dog to learn any new tricks. Okay. Was my explanation of planetology not to your liking? Perhaps a seminar would provide a more agreeable experience. So we have more learning to do. I think we're in a class. Maybe in a university. Okay. Well, let's go learn more. This is sick so far, though. Teach us, teach us. Oh my god, stairs? Hey. Where we have to go is upstairs. Oh, we've been here. Okay. Oh yeah, we have to go to that that course. Okay. So Barrett was right this whole time. Ever since the first game, the opening scenes of the first game. I wonder how he came to find out about this, though. Where do I go? Oh my god. Yeah, I think I found it. At least I, got, I think I'm getting to the same level. Oh yeah, it was outside. I wonder why they didn't just take us with them. Thanks so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance. Parting gift. 
Yeah, I'm not ready for that yet. Oh, the mother of God, guys. I have no idea how to get back to this. It's saying it's still below me. Where was that place? Maybe I should have followed that goddamn guy. But I don't want to spark a main mission. What are you doing here? You weren't the same person. Let's hope I'm not missing anything. Ooh, new weapon. Who's gonna get this weapon? Let's see if it's Red 13. Oh, it's, what's his name? Kate Sith. Hey, do you need, do you get a finally a really good move? Use an equipped summon's ability. Oh, that's cool. Not only use when riding your Moogle during battles in which summons are available. Oh. Cooldown increases with each use. I guess that's fine, but... What bonus do we get? Moogle Sentinel? Reduces damage. We need more attack damage for everything for him. Reduces MP cost by spells. Attack power. Reduces MP cost at the... Reduces MP cost of the attack spells by- oh, I thought I said 100 for a second. Okay. Is that really- that's it? We had a gift here for... for Kate Sith and that's it? more chests. Maybe there'll be more weapons. I don't even know who's due to find a nice weapon. Maybe Aerith? Or the purple chest, damn it. So I can't believe Aerith was just basically 100% right about the consumption of Mako and how what it's going to do to the planet. I saw something else to my left. Oh, it's just that guy. Okay. So how do I get out of here? So we don't even need to summon... Oh, we can summon somebody else and then use summon's ability with Kate Sith. That's pretty sweet. Oh my god. But we can't use it unless it's a sort of fight where <coughs> the fight where the boss can be summoned or uh, someone can be summoned. Okay, let's go to this second class. I heard from fellow Bugenhagen. By all means, please come and join the seminar. Follow me if you would. I love the music here too. They are both one in the same. Once we finish this main mission, I'm going to switch to Cloud Sword. I like to have Cloud Sword as the Buster Sword for main mission stuff. <laughs> it's actually the sword I like the look of the best, too. He might be due for another weapon, actually. The seminar is in progress. Please be respectful. I've uh, always been on the bigger side, but I don't try Please continue on into the assembly. Painting and poetry are more my Is this where Barrett was? My old man, he... He used to say it was a waste, me spending all my time indoors. According to him, a big kid... What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Please. Oh my god, this is story heavy. Me? Uh, okay. I, uh, where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was 
A lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But there was also conflict. A war between the planet and its enemies. And I can't... I mean, we can't let them win. We need the planet, and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back, defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. <sighs> I, I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... <sighs> Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. <laughs> Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the what? evening. What? I just got here. The River of Lights is almost upon us. So let us head to the torch. I'll see you at the festival. Damn it, I wanted to see that. Or well, more of it. But I guess we just keep going. Let's just steal their stuff first. Actually, to make sure we can keep grabbing stuff. One second, you guys. I'm gonna grab some crap. Okay, we're back. So, is that it? The River of Light ceremony will begin shortly. This night comes but once a year, bringing us closer to the planet. I've no doubt you'll feel her grace. Okay, this is interesting. You. Ah, the River of Lights. Once a year, we gather the souls that have drifted to our veil and return them to the planet whence they came. I heartily encourage you to join us in this ceremony. Okay. There is no so, where do we go in this maze to do this now? Let's just get this done. This is so interesting. It's good to have a good story heavy section because we've been doing a crap ton of combat and killing everything. <laughs> so I assume we go down here because the thing says down. Let's hope the bad thing that happens here doesn't cost everybody their lives. Like I think it will. And it'll force for 13 to stay with us, but I don't think any of my predictions have been right. Cosmo Canyon Torch, the River of Lights. Oh, we get to talk to everybody. This is gonna be amazing. All right, let's see. Everybody is blue except Yuffie, but Yuffie's the Look newest. At them, gathered around the fire, just like us that day. Me and mom and dad. If only we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. Don't give me that bullshit. I wasn't listening. I'll lend an ear. I'll lend an ear. Whenever I think about my mom, my chest swells with so much pride, I I feel like it'll burst. But when it comes to my dad, I just... Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. Okay. Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. Let's go... Counterclockwise, or clock, no, counterclockwise, and then we'll end with Aerith in the middle. 
I think Aerith is the mission starter. If you die, you return to the planet? That has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Once you die, that's that. Yeah, I totally agree, pretty much. Why do you think that? Why do you think that? I just do. I believe in anything else until I see some actual proof. How much longer are they going to be doing this? If he's got a short attention span. Man, I can't wait to see what they got planned. Kim, I can't talk to you. Some oh. say we're like grains of sand on the beach of the universe. Fatalist idiots. Spend my whole life trying to prove them wrong. But sitting here, looking up at the sky, you kind of help feeling pretty minuscule. Camera dudes, speak with the others. What? So I can't go around. Man, I can't wait to see what they got planned. So, yeah, she is. So Aerith is the mission starter. Never forsake us. I had the pleasure of talking to a mentor. Said it was presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. She decides her own fate, you see. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself of filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? No, we fight. Maybe. We fight. No, we fight. But nothing will change. That's what I said. I knew you'd see it my way, Merc. Thanks. Planetology, Avalanche, Marlene, and me. I don't know. Did I sound as awkward as I felt? I felt for you. Just gotta laugh it off. You did good. I guess. You did I... good. Can't help it if they suck at listening. I got what you were saying. I kind of wanted everyone to get it, though. To hell with everyone. <laughs> Great advice. Thanks. I think I'm gonna stay out here a little longer. Okay, let's do this, Aerith. I pray these souls do not lose their way. I wonder why she's in the middle of this. Okay, when's the bad thing happening? As in a steward of the planet. One of those ancients. Or, to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will. I've been watched. I've been ignored. Even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never gonna be normal. That much was clear. <sighs> oh my god, smile at her, stop her, encourage her. Encourage. It's okay. I don't know why there's a time limit. Jesus. So my blood's been a curse. But it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life. Friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy even. 
And all that pain feels worth it. There was music, Jesus. Even if I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given. Why does she have this concerned look on her face? Oh, she's fine. Good. I thought she saw something coming. Huh? Look at I have to choose, don't I? Oh, good now. Okay, I'm glad nothing bad happened. Meant every word, though. That was a cool virus. Again, unique in its own way, too. Oh, right there. There we go. Okay. So, oh. this is where you've been, Nanaki. Where else would he be? What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that, I mean all of you. <laughs> 